Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner, Section 522 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics, the magnetic field of a steady current. If I go too fast, you can rewind. Uh, comments can go in a video response to the comments below. Um, the magnetic field generated by current, um, we're not talking about, again, we're talking magnetostatics. Uh, we're talking everywhere the, the current charge, uh, the, the, cur the, the volume current, is not accumulating nor you know diverging, so we don't have any accumulation or you know depletion of charge anywhere. So the magnetic field at a given point, given some configuration of currents, is given by this um, rather simple formula: mu naught over four pi. That's a parallel with one over four pi epsilon naught. The integral of some current. R hat over curly R squared uh, dL. Okay, so this equation says you go along some path where there's a current flowing. Oh, you go along some path, and you have the current cross the the difference between the point and the the place we're integrating. That's the R curly. Okay, um, with magnitude divided by R squared. Okay, and you can also write it out in this different form: mu naught over four pi integral of dl vector cross r hat all over r curly squared and where did the i go it goes out here and this is when you're traveling along the current so this is along okay and this is traveling along some line that may or may not be aligned with the current um mu naught what in the heck is that mu naught is very curious indeed because it's given by the value 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 newtons per amperes squared. Okay, this is um, I think one of two or three, I, I, I could be wrong, but this is one of those constants that is precisely given. In fact, we basically said, okay, let's set mu naught to this value and then calculate you know amperes and newtons from that. Okay, actually, amperes from that because Newton's is given by a different uh, calculation. Okay, so the unit of uh, the permeability of free space, and you should just be so excited because remember the epsilon naught was the um, oh I'm going to botch this epsilon naught was the. Uh, um, Foot back, foot back. <laughs> Why am I? It's it's a uh, susceptibility. That's right. Not the susceptibility. It was the um, dielectric constant. No. Why am I not? I'm panicking right now. Um, linear dielectrics. The permittivity. That's right. The permittivity of free space. Uh, <sighs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's correct. Permittivity of free space, epsilon naught. This is the permeability of free space. And indeed, it does have to do with how actual uh, materials interact with magnetic fields, how they respond. Um, the um, measurement, the units, is usually measured in teslas. Okay, One tesla is equal to one newton per uh, ampere meters. Okay. Um, oh, the, I'm sorry, the, the units of magnetic fields is in Teslas. Uh, generally, uh, I went through an MRI. The magnetic field inside that MRI was 1.5 Teslas, which is extremely powerful. Um, the Earth's magnetic field is about um, one half of one ten thousand. So we normally use Gauss. Okay. Um, a gauss is uh, one ten thousandths of a tesla and the earth's magnetic field is about half a gauss and so that's actually more approachable to actual magnetic fields you're going to interact with uh, in your daily life and in electric circuits um, so the biosavar law this is what this is the biosavar okay um, is a fundamental law, much like Coulomb's law, um, 
and we're not taking any time to drive it here. Hopefully you've already taken the physics courses that showed you why it has to be the way it is. Um, just like Coulomb's law, but we're just, this is basically the law that gives us all the different things, plus the law that we already discussed for how magnetic fields interact with moving charges gives you, these two laws together um, give you how a moving charge interacts with a moving charge through the medium of the magnetic field. So anyway, we're going to do example five next, and then we'll be along our merry way with example six, and with one final note, we'll be able to talk about the magicalness that is the B field. Thanks for your time. Take care and bye.